I don't know, like, he's spreading the dark side somehow. I'm imagining he's, like, DJing, like, a nighttime radio show where he just talks about, like... I but that'd be pretty funny. Like, a, po- a podcast, just, like, he goes around, just, like, sipping coffee, so... <laughs> hey, welcome to the dark side. Okay, tonight, you have my guest, uh... I don't know, I thought... I was just imagining, like, it's just fucking Palpatine, like, on the streets by himself, shouting at people passing by in cars, Enjoy the dark side! And just, like, one dude trying to spread a fucking evil religion. No, no, don't get me wrong, that's what he used to do. That's how he got popular in the first place. That's how I can afford radio towers now. <laughs> they, admire, they admired his moxie. <laughs> Look at all that moxie. How can one man have such moxie? I wonder if the Attack on Titan game is going to be good. Yeah. It, it didn't really look like it. Attack on Titan is a decent concept, but the thing is the combat is always going to be boring as fuck. I mean, the anime was able to pull off like the interesting stuff because there are always like, kind of the new angles and everything like that. Well, there was game, an actual story to it. Uh, like, maybe if they did, like, the problem is you'd have to do something like Shadow Colossus shit in order to make it interesting, but... Mm. I don't know. I saw, like, a trailer earlier. It looked... Kinda the the combat looked a little I guess janky would be I've seen screenshots, the graphics look okay, but yeah, the combat like it looks like it's just It's not that it's just the combat looks janky. Like it'd be a decent game for like fans if you're like really into it, but for just like if you're just not that into it and kinda wanting to it may be a little bit disappointing and boring. Where the fuck is this shit Wait, it's just gonna piss off into the fucking abyss? <laughs> No, I'm not going to send it off into the abyss. Here there be monsters. Uh, what what happens it? if you go to the abyss? Like, do you eventually come out on the other side? Because that just looks like you're in a big fucking ocean. Oh no, I'll, I'll come out to the other side. It always comes around. It, it's always going to be kind of circular. And, uh, no real point is it ever going to do anything else. Um, In fact, I have... You know what? There it is. I've hit the other edge of the earth. So, it looks like we are just sitting on one big-ass land mass. There's not even, like, any special islands over there? Uh, there is one or two, and you know what? I might throw one there just to have kind of a... Hawaii. Fucking... You need Hawaii. I need a tropical place for my dark side, my loyal dark siders to have a nice vacation. And to just get away from it all. Otto Raban? Wait, what? Let me go back to that. What? How? Why? <laughs> Wait, what? They, there's probably an open space over there, but that's like the shittiest fucking decision ever. Well, enjoy your fucking ice <laughs> hole. <laughs> fucking ice Fortress hell. of Solitude. That's the name of our Wi-Fi. Okay. Hmm. The Fortress of Solitude. Because we're Superman! Yeah. Superman. The superstars. Super sad. <laughs> Super something. It's not Superman. It's Super Saiyan. I like said Super Saiyan. Coming back to Super Saiyan a lot. <laughs> Are you okay, Nick? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Thumbs up. Speaking about cocaine. Cocaine be good. Johnny Cocaine. Crack. <laughs> smack. Polywack, what? Something the pop, the crackle. No, apparently it looks like... Uh, oh, one of the more popular rumors that I've apparently just discovered upon was apparently Princess Leia may have been doing cocaine. Wait, what? During the Star Wars movies. Was it like... Oh. Oh, you mean the actor? Yeah. I was like, space cocaine? <laughs> <laughs> space cocaine, that would have been amazing. <laughs> No, I'm talking about real life cocaine, uh, the good stuff, bad stuff, crazy stuff. But yeah, apparently um, she was also accused of like not accused, Jesus Christ. I, I mean, she's also been rumored slandered. <laughs> I can't remember what her name properly is. Let me look up Carrie Fisher. I had no idea. Oh. Okay. Start me for a second. Oh, yeah. Peace be among you. Among you. Oh. 
Peace be on you. <laughs> Have some fucking peace. I'm gonna peace all over you. We still haven't fucking played Mario Party. We need to play that. I'm kind of sad inside that we haven't played Mario Party yet. Bring back the Saturday Salt Bowl. I might. That'd be fun to do. If you had actually played versus games. I I could do local versus. <laughs> do a couple of those. Play some Mario. I hate you, Mario. Oh. Mario. <laughs> Apparently the actor herself said it. And she said she took it during the Ice Planet scenes of the Star Wars trilogy. <laughs> Time to do some white powder. Doing the snow on the snow. Make it snow. Make it snow, make it snow, make it snow. Hmm. She didn't even like Coke, she just wanted to get high. Wait, what? She. And apparently, even John Belushi was well, saying that she was doing way too much. How how long has she been like? Was she doing it before then? Like, she didn't discover it while she was fucking doing it. Like the movie, right? That'd be pretty funny. <laughs> She's like, "Hey, the what's middle... the snow on the ground? It's a very interesting substance. Like they just cover like the snow planet is made of pure cocaine." <laughs> uh, yeah, you can have your shitty iron. I don't give a fuck about iron. Not enough? Okay, then go fuck yourself. <laughs> uh, You've already kind of accepted the dark side a little bit. Reassignment? You're gonna be reassigned to me, bitch. Basically. Bitch, I'm the juggernaut. Oh, fucking ass. Catch uh, my ass, motherfucker. Apparently she's been in hospitals, rehab clinics, and she's been rushed to the hospital at least once for an overdose. Uh, well... How much... Wait, is that, like, recently? No, I mean, that was, like, 90s and 80s, I think. Okay. Um... How was she doing recently? Even John Belushi said that she had a problem. Armello. Does anyone know who the fuck Armello is? Because I don't. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, for, like, a year... You know what? Maybe the entirety I've had fucking Steam on this goddamn computer. I'd just be maybe having it in the background or playing a game. And then I'd just see Armello has started an event. And I'm just like, who the fuck is Armello? <laughs> and it pops up constantly. I'm not sure if it's maybe just some sort of gaming. Uh, I thought event. it was one of your friends at first. I didn't have a... any friends. No friends at all. Oh, that's, that's really sad. Shh, we're not going back to sad. <laughs> We're happy. I have no friends. Except <laughs> <laughs> that one guy on Xbox Live. Oh yeah. That, uh, I don't play Xbox Live anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that one guy was bothering me too much. Let me play games with him and stuff. He did, and I was just like, I don't really. I kind of. Yeah, I need some me time, bro. And by me time, I mean go away. <laughs> I will never talk to you and say I need me time. I will implicitly imply it by never answering any of your invites. Well, it's not so much as I don't advise as I just stop playing Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> so not even like turn it onto private or turn it offline. It's like no fuck it, just done with Xbox. I mean, I made I, a friend and he's keeping me I, from enjoying. <laughs> occasionally, I'll play Xbox, but for the most part, I'm just like. Uh... I don't uh, really want to be on a schedule right now. I have a lot of things happening, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to pass on your friendship. As soon as you see him show up, you're just like, "Oh no, he's back!" Like an abuser. <laughs> Pretty much, we got an abusive like <laughs> relationship. <laughs> he has no fucking clue. <laughs> he's like, "Hey man, want to hang out?" You're like, "Uh, why do you hurt me inside?" <laughs> and she's like, uh, "Uh, you hurt me in painful ways," and he's just like. He has no idea. <laughs> it's kind of funny. He has a mic and stuff, and you 
<laughs> like, well, we we don't even have a mic around, do we, for um, Xbox? Or I don't think so. None that fits in that stupid little. We jack haven't they used have. a mic. Have we even used the mic once for Xbox One? Uh, I used to use it a couple times when I was playing like um, old Halo and stuff, everything like that, or the remastered edition. But um, maybe once or twice in Battlefield. But yeah, mostly nowadays I just use Skype and just talk with my real life friends. Your real friends. And real life. Real talk, real life. Real talk. Hmm. She is. Rationalism. Who's that in the background of rationalism? Some. Oh. I, don't you quiz me now. <laughs> I don't need to be quizzed. I, I don't have to answer to you. <laughs> I, I'm smart. I don't need to answer questions about guys who I should probably know about. <laughs> I've only played this game for 300 hours. Fuck you, that doesn't mean I need to know everyone, but... Fuck... Face. <laughs> fuck face. <laughs> face. <laughs> oh, that's good old fuck face. Don't force me to learn shit, fuck face. <laughs> uh, patronage. Fuck face, just give me the 3 plus intelligence, you don't need to tell me anything. I'm not trying to learn here. I'm trying to start a, a nuclear war. Let it be known that you'll. N I'll never force any of you to try to learn anything. <laughs> we'll explain all of our known facts right here. Anything that we don't know is mythical and legendary as far as we're concerned. I don't even know. Oh, look at all these shitty little ships. Yeah, so don't take our word for anything. We are not experts in any field. Except... Dynasty Warriors, maybe? Except Dynasty Warriors would probably be a good one. Uh, <laughs> uh, maybe some mangoes? Uh, came, uh, one or two mangoes. <laughs> uh, I, I can make a smoothie. <laughs> uh, I'm known for occasionally putting a can of soup in the microwave. Uh... <laughs> 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 An aluminum can. <laughs> it doesn't always work out. <laughs> well, we've gone through like eight microwaves. <laughs> Just like sitting in another room, like, oh, I guess there's another microwave can going on. It's happened again! It's happened again! This is fire! <laughs> Damn it, Nick, what have I told you about those microwaveable cans? Uh, <laughs> just shrug my shoulders. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll throw the cat at it. Just throw the cat at all the problems. Just poof. I'm still kind of cur Oh, wait, is that him? I can't see, it's too dark. It's black. Oh, there he is, yeah, he moves his face. <laughs> oh, we have a black hat, so we can't see him at all in the darkness. And since we record in darkness every once in a while, we'll just, like, hear a rant. And we won't even know he's in the room. Just a rant. And he'll scare the shit out of us sometimes. I remember when he was a little wee cat and he would just sprint underneath the bed and then just swat at the feet of anyone who came by and just scared the shit out of him. <laughs> I always just, I remember, I think it was Stolly's bed that he did the most. Maybe that's why he likes going into her, uh, her room so much. And what he'd do is, like, he would hide under the bed, and then, like, when he would walk by, he'd grab her leg, and he'd be like... <laughs> Fucking sketchy little shit. <laughs> I think that's why he likes going under beds now. I don't know. I think he just likes it because he doesn't get... No one can touch him? No one pisses around with him, like... No one's like, hey, Kira, I'm gonna start rubbing the shit out of you because you're fluffy, I don't know. <laughs> hmm... His gift and curse. You know, I said I throw some settlers out. I should probably do that before they grow any further. There's just really, reserve the land. I it's at this point. I I think I might have said this earlier, but the further I go in, and yeah, suck a dick, everyone else. Uh, let me see. One hundred seventeen point two. Shit, he got a bronze. <laughs> it's okay. I pressed everyone else. Uh, double culture, that's nice, I'm producing a fucking whopping 600 culture per turn. A lot of culture, uh, ooh, I get a free social policy, that's pretty fucking nice. 
Uh, and 500 points towards Golden Age. Cool, I just exited one, and I will hopefully be entering a new one in not too long. And... <laughs> you know what? I, I picked up Liberty, and I probably should have checked last round. I think someone built pyramids a long time ago. But just to be on the safe side... Yeah, okay. Uh, let's see. Huh. Looking up the history of the glorious Chief Chirpa of the Ewok tribe. Because I was wondering, how does he have a name? Oh, uh, the Ewoks? Yeah. Apparently he was a chieftain leader of the Bright Tree Village, which is the one that um, inducted Han Solo <laughs> and I think his troops into their wait, tribe. Han Solo and, uh, wait, Han Solo is an honorary Ewok? <laughs> yes, he's an honorary Ewok. <laughs> Congratulations, uh, Otolan. No, but they're also doing the um. Fuck, he served for forty-two seasons. How Four old do they come? Forty-two seasons? What do you mean? Oh, you mean he was like uh forty-two seasons? Basic math, basic math. So what, like eleven years? A little bit around that time frame. I'm guessing that. It also depends on if the world has, like, four seasons, hopefully. Hopefully. I pray. I so, pray. So I pray I, that the Ewoks' home world has four seasons. That way, when I go there, <laughs> I can adjust. It won't be too big of a clash in cultures. <laughs> What's your Wi-Fi password? <laughs> <laughs> Mine's Fortress of Solitude. <laughs> Because of Superman. Uh, it's, uh, I'm, I'm a pretty super guy. He lives in his ice cave alone by himself, just like us. Yeah, aww. <laughs> Once again, coming back to the theme of sadness. Today's gonna be a sad playthrough. Just like five episodes of sadness. Just like Sesame Street, we open the fucking playthrough and it's just like, hey, today's theme is uh, spaceships. Today's theme is uh, depression. Tone joke. Today's theme is sadness. Crippling depression. Crippling, crippling, cri crippling inside. Trying to get us shot by the bloods? I, I don't do, I don't listen to your rap. <laughs> One of the famous, in fact, probably one of the most famous gangs in America. Bloods, Crips, essays, I think. Oh, oh. I think a while ago they declared a truce in like Los Angeles or something like that. Or wait, are they still a thing? What? The oh yeah, they're still very big. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't. Tend <laughs> oh, to, I live I, away from that. I, I don't tend to get involved in gang wars too often. There's not been too many gang neighborhoods when it's hot as hell to go outside. No one really wants to be in the gang. When to be in the gang, you have to go outdoors and. Just don't fuck that. It's just fucking hot as shit. Like I, I can understand places like you know like California where you can go outside and like do stuff. But I mean, fuck, it's hot in Texas. So hot. It's pretty freaking hot. Pretty freaking hot. Pretty freaking hot. There we go. It's a nice way to spend some social policies is to improve the speed my workers improve tiles. Uh, You know what? I keep fucking saying I'm going to send someone out. I'm going to send someone out right now. Better not. It's too late. I've already made up my mind. Just stop it. Uh, there. Send out your great prophet. Go convert them. He just gets fucking raped by the <laughs> barbarian. <laughs> no, <laughs> they're raping me. Dog so hard. <laughs> Lord Palpatine will you don't smite you. <laughs> they're already converting, but don't do it to me. <laughs> good, good. Do it on other people. They're raping him, and then they're gonna rape me! Ah, uh, raped. <laughs> I like how you it's like catching him last time. Ah, uh, raped. <laughs> uh, one of the most horrifying experiences a person can ever experience. Yeah. 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 Sleezing it up. 
<laughs> How low can we go? Apparently pretty low. Racism and rape. And more. Brought to you by the TNG men. All that and more. <laughs> why are you, why we got to be the TNG men? What, what, what do you want to be? I, I, I kind of already started this YouTube channel. <laughs> can I just be Nick? <laughs> I was referring to us as a collective, but uh, okay. Uh, racism and collective rape brought to you by Nick. <laughs> Nick. Slander and lies <laughs> forced upon other people's name by an asshole formerly known as TJ, now known as TNG Man. We talk about rape and slander on the TNG Man. Why would you use our channel name? Oh, okay. You're Nick! Nicholas himself. The great prophet Grand Dragon. According to Stalin. the lies and slander of the fucking channel. Oh, now you'd be Mao, wouldn't you? Mao. Mao. Who the fuck is Mao? The great leader for China. I guess. Remember, he was the one who brought communism to China, I think. I was Pretty much one of their most I famous. Become a communist? <laughs> yes. Commun oh, uh, okay. I was like, what the fuck are you saying now? Now. It just had to click. Click. <laughs> That's just how it goes off in your head when everything falls into place. <laughs> just a shitty, tired click. Click. Oh. The, the guy in my head's a little tired. <laughs> just constant revelations of nothing but click. The entire time you're in class, you're just saying click out loud. Wait, I get rifling and lubu. I wait. You're gonna wait. You get Lubu as a unit. I think that's part of his thing. Lubu replaces Great General. Wouldn't that be shit? Wouldn't that shit be interesting? You know. So you now have like your own. You you're like fuck. I'm gonna build a Lubu. <laughs> you know, if I for some reason I get Lubu at some point for like Great War, you or have something. to send him to go suicidal against his own country. Exactly. Fucking Lubu gonna destroy Lubu. And he'll be like, oh, what are you doing? And then he'll be like, One more enemy officer down. Another enemy officer defeated. And then I'm gonna sweep my arms around in a fucking pointless jester. The only true way. The Mushu way. As a, pro as a prophecy foretold. Hmm. Let's see here. Uh, I think it'd be nice if they did a manga based on the Three Kingdoms that was, like, um, kingdom quality. Classic quality kingdom. Yeah, but it'd be hard. Like, who would they focus on? Maybe a leader... Maybe a... It had to be a general under South Sao, I would think. Because uh, you'd still want him to be, like, kind of winning and everything like that. Well, like Xiao Dun. Zhao Dun would be a decent one, but he dies or he like. Are there any like oh, yeah, warriors did, who? Are there any warriors who really survive a long time? Wait, I don't have a goddamn freaking oil pump on this shit. That's retarded. Wait, do I? So before I send you out, do I? I think I got the technology with hospital. Or no, do I not? Offshore, okay, I, I do have the technology. I have the technology to uh, create some fucking shitty wells, and I will throw these shitty wells onto this desert here, which was formerly a trading post. Now it's gonna be just fucking oil site. Uh, floodplains, desert river. I really should, and I, I should be doing a lot of stuff, but I'm just so lazy right now. <laughs> I okay. think earlier, at some point, I said, like, oh, I'm super detailed, and I play very specific, and then at some point, I just, like, whatever. I get tired and I, really easily. <laughs> and I'm playing super lazy. But just know that if I wanted to, I could be playing better. But <laughs> you're you're mean, not getting my best. <laughs> I mean, I'm already, like, three science ages above everyone else. I, I kind of blew past the point of competition. So now it's just kind of a race to uh, deploy... Uh, quotation mark diplomacy and uh, uh, may maybe uh, maybe a little a little, a little dose of radiation on the side. A a visit from uh, Mr. Adam. Mr. Adam is here to say hi. Mm, maybe an interesting guy would be to follow Zhang Liao. 
if he would be the main protagonist. Who was Zhang Liao again? Was that one? He was a general under uh, Cao Cao. He was first like a roaming general. Like he would go under like different warlords. I think like he ended up serving under. Um, Is he the one with the pride captain hat? He he lived under Ding Z- um, Yuan, uh, Dong Xiao, and uh, Lu Bu before he finally went under um, Cao Cao. Okay, I think I know who that one was now. He's one of the closest um, guys to him. Cao Cao had a lot of really loyal people to him. Cao Cao was a baller. He was. As I've grown older, I've liked Cao Cao more and more. He's become more and more of a fucking boss. And I've hated that, Liu Bei more and more. It's just that mind shift that we have. You become cynical. It's the Tom and Jerry effect. <laughs> or you turn from like, yeah, Jerry to, is awesome to, why? Wow. Jerry is a complete <laughs> fucking dirtbag. I mean, sometimes it's fair, but like 80% of the time it's just him being a fucking overt douchebag. And then there's the rare occasion where they get long. And then it goes straight back to douchebag. Yeah, apparently it was right after Lubu was defeated. So that'd be a pretty good story to watch. He'd be, like, he'd be, um, from the um, perspective of you're serving as a general of first, like, coming to fame under just, like, the very warring states. And then you become a uh, general under a super great, you know, leader who is, like, a, the best, you know, fighter ever. But, you know, he's a little bit crazy and crass, and then, like, he gets defeated because he's, you know, finally betrayed enough lords. <laughs> 22 <laughs> he, he was... You betrayed us, like, six times. Okay, six times is too many. Uh, turns out, number seven isn't as lucky as we thought. <laughs> and then he becomes, like, a, a follower of, like, the guy who recruited him, Sao Sao, who is actually a fucking baller. I don't and know. I think he lived to be like 60 or 70 years old. I mean, he, he definitely had a good life. Didn't Leo Bay... Actually, no. He lived to be 53, which is still pretty old considering back then. Didn't Leo Bay live to a decent while? I thought Leo Bay ended up dying of sickness. Oh, that's right. Wasn't that it? And then uh, his son, the mentally... Retard. He... I'm not sure if he was completely retarded or just slow. I think it was just slightly sl- Not slow. Uh, well... Yeah, I think he was just a little bit slow. He wasn't, like, completely stupid. Maybe he was... <laughs> Maybe he was the most retarded. <laughs> they say, like, you look him up. Maybe he was actually clever, and he just portrayed us slow. Or maybe... I don't know. Well, apparently, Leo, uh, Leo Bay also lived to 62 years old. Uh, concerning the times, pretty fucking good. Hmm. Just throw all culture into this. How do you even shove so much in- shit into a single city? There's just too much culture. We got culture. <coughs> hey. <laughs> and that's the end of that. <laughs> <laughs> I-, I couldn't get an impression out if I tried.